What's up, what's up, y'all? This is Darren Travis, AKA D Trav, and welcome back to Nick's at Night TV. This is episode two. Let's get right into it. The next day, not the play. That's right. They're able to have a little fun. Right. This is it. He's begging for the basketball. He thinks about it as he begs. I know everybody's been hearing all the rumors about Kevin Durant possibly leaving the Golden State Warriors and making his way over to the Big Apple this summer, 2019, when free agency begins. Now, let me just say that I believe that this is true, that Kevin Durant would sign with the New York Knicks. And I have my key points and reasons why I think Kevin Durant should sign with the New York Knicks and why he will ultimately sign with the New York Knicks. First off, Let's talk, talk about all the people, the reporters, the analysts, the sports commentators who say that this is ridiculous. I'm hearing around the NBA that, you know, from GMs and everybody that Kevin Durant will sign with the Knicks. But why does it make any sense for him to leave a good situation with the Golden State Warriors where he's about to win his third championship, we believe, and uh, he has great teammates around him? Why would he leave that to go to the Knicks? Knowing that the Knicks just finished with the worst record in the NBA. That makes absolutely no sense. But let me tell you why. First of all, Kevin Durant can start over with the New York Knicks and it will be his own franchise. Everybody knows in Golden State that, you know, the Warriors has always been Stephen Curry's team. Even when Kevin Durant made the decision to join the Golden State Warriors, it was known that he was joining a team that was already have already won 73 wins. So a lot of people, you know, were saying that was a weak move and they couldn't believe Kevin Durant would do that. So they don't even validate his three championships that he's about to win. I mean, but the boy did his thing in, in the NBA Finals. You saw him do his thing and give it to LeBron and hit clutch shots in LeBron's face. So that should give him, you know, some brownie points right there. But some people still don't respect that. So there's like an asterisk next to Kevin Durant's name for the championships he's got. But hey, nobody can play when LeBron joined Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Or when he joined, came back to the Cavaliers and he said he didn't want Andrew Wiggins and he wanted Kevin Love to be there. And he already had Kyrie Irving. And, you know, all the, all the good vets always decide to sign with LeBron James knowing that, um, they're gonna win the championship because he also had Ray Allen and, and, and numerous players on his team. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is not about LeBron James. This is about Kevin Durant. So let's get right to it. The Kevin Durant and Golden State Warriors situation was more like a, a business situation if you think about it like this. The Warriors had just lost the championship to the Cavaliers. What's the first thing that Draymond Green does? There's reports that he went into his car crying, texting or calling Kevin Durant and saying, come on, bro, we need you on the team. You know, this could be good for the both of us, you know, for the for our franchise and for your career, you know. So basically, you can look at it as a mutual business situation because the Warriors wanted to dethrone LeBron James after just losing to him. They felt that with Kevin Durant, there is no way possible that we could lose to LeBron James and the Cavaliers again. And Kevin Durant felt with the Warriors, there's no way that he's not getting a championship. This is this this is gonna be a cakewalk to the NBA Finals. And he know that he has the talent enough with the help to beat the Cavaliers. So at the end of the day, they decided to combine the forces, you know, I don't know, combine the forces like Captain Planet. Anybody remember Captain Planet? Water. Heart, go play! 
By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! Captain Planet, he's a hero, gonna take pollution down. But anyway, they decided to combine their forces together and ultimately create this super team that is unstoppable, right? But Kevin Durant was never taken by the Warriors fans and, you know, sports commentators as the Warriors hero. It was always like, I feel like Kevin Durant feels that he is treated like a stepchild in Golden State, you know. Steph Curry is like the golden child. You know, they love him to death. You know, he's a Christian. He, he doesn't talk a lot of junk. You know, he's just very quiet, but he gets the jobs done and he was drafted by the Warriors. So, you know, they always put Steph Curry first. And I feel like Kevin Durant really doesn't have any close relationships inside the Warriors organization to make him feel comfortable there. Basically, I mean, there's one person on the roster that you guys may not even know about, but his name is Quinn Cook. And Quinn Cook is actually Kevin Durant's friend from AAU days when he was in high school. You know, he, he has known Quinn Cook for a long time. So I bring that up because Quinn Cook is going to come up later in the show when I just because he's also a free agent in 2019 and he's not going to demand a lot of money. He's basically... You could say he's basically like a D-League player, but Quinn Cook could shoot. I give him that. He has a good jump shot. But anyway, there was a um, there was a game where you could see the disconnect between Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors, and it's not only it don't only has to do with the Draymond Green what he said to Kevin Durant. It was kind of messed up, I believe, what he said to Kevin Durant. Actually, you sat in your car, you called that man up, you asked him to come to the team because you needed help, you know, to beat the LeBron James and the Cavaliers. And now, as soon as Kevin Durant is feeling like you need me and he's on the court in his crunch time situation and he's asking you and calling you for the ball and he gets frustrated because you fall down and you create a turnover, when I get back to the bench, you're going to disrespect that man, you're going to curse him out, you're going to tell him F him and he's a, you know, B-I-T-C, you know, you know the rest. And just keep going in and on him saying, we don't need you. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. You saying you don't need this man, but you're the man that called him after you lost to LeBron James. Like, you know, they say once somebody get mad, you really get to see their true colors. At the end of the day, Kevin Durant know, knows and it said that if Draymond Green was really my friend and he really rocked with me like that. He would have never, ever disrespected me, no matter how mad he was. Because when people get mad, they just say things that is bold up on the inside, you know? So Kevin Durant is not a dumb, like not, it's not a fool. He knows Draymond Green really has, you know, some distaste or hatefulness towards him. I don't know why. Maybe he's a little bit jealous. I have no idea. But that's one case. Now, there was another case where you could see that um, before the game, they was in a tunnel. The Golden State Warriors team. You can see it was Steph Curry there. It was Draymond Green, Clay Thompson. Um, who else? Just basically the whole team. They was in the tunnel and they huddled up together, you know, to you know get motivated before the game. Everybody put their hands in. They was like one, two, three Warriors. Now everybody was there except for Kevin Durant, which was kind of weird. If you guys are close and you're all together as a team. Why wasn't Kevin Durant there? If you watch later down in the film, they all did the huddle thing and they left and they went onto the floor to start their warmups. But then Kevin Durant came out like five minutes later and was stretching in the hallway and then he came out to the floor. So why is Kevin Durant and the Warriors separated as a team? You know, somebody should have said, hey, where's Kevin? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Even if he was in the bathroom, oh, he's in the bathroom. Let me go get him real quick. That shows unity. Right now, I don't see any unity with the Golden State Warriors and Kevin Durant. There may be unity amongst them because they're the original, you know, um, players that was on the Warriors. But with Kevin Durant, he's just an add-on that they use like a cheat code. And now they're done with the cheat code. They want to kick him to the curb, you know. But with, with the situation with the Knicks, it's totally different. Kevin Durant, Coach Fisdale, who was in his first year this year of coaching the New York Knicks, could build the New York Knicks from the ground up. They have all their draft picks. They have two max slots. It's New York City. It's exactly what Kevin Durant needs in his career. A franchise 
that is not known for winning, where that if they win a championship, Kevin Durant would get all the credit. It would be no asterisk next to any championship that he wins with the New York Knicks. Even if he make the finals and he lose, which I doubt it because they could build a really good team around Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant would still get all the props in the world. But let me go into some key reasons why Kevin Durant will sign with the New York Knicks. Now, besides the two max slots that the New York Knicks have, they also only have players on their rookie contracts. Everybody else is going to be the release of the New York Knicks roster. So think about this here. Kevin Durant could possibly have a team of Kyrie Irving. They also could re-sign DeAndre Jordan, Alonzo Trier, Lance Thomas, and they could sign his friend Quinn Cook. Let me get into the first person I was talking about, Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is one of Kevin Durant's best friends. As you can see by the All-Star game that they was playing in this year, they, couldn't, they was hand in hand together, walking hand in hand like they was best friends, having secret conversations and tunnels, playing one-on-one -on -one before the games. They was all giddy, 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 like they just fresh came off of their honeymoon. But you could tell that, you know, Kevin Durant, he's the type of person that enjoys good friendships and likes to be around people who like him and sincerely are his friends. So, you know, he could possibly come to New York with Kevin Durant. Now let's get into Alonzo Trier, who's already on the Knicks roster. And he was uh, an undrafted rookie who the Knicks decided to sign, right? Alonzo Trier. Alonzo Trier is on foul saying that Kevin Durant is one of his good friends in the NBA. As a matter of fact, he said Kevin Durant is like a big brother to him because when he was playing high school basketball, Kevin Durant took him underneath his wing and um, basically treated him like a, like a little brother. So they have a close relationship, Alonzo Trier and Kevin Durant. So now you also have Lance Thomas. Lance Thomas is also on the Knicks roster. Lance Thomas, Kevin Durant is on file saying that Lance Thomas is his favorite player, one of his favorite guys and favorite players in the NBA. That's a quote from Kevin Durant himself. Now, let's go into um, DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan and Kevin Durant go way back to when Kevin Durant was at uh, Texas University. I think, um, was it DeAndre Jordan or Kevin Durant? Anyway, they both went to Texas. One of them was uh, the host for the other on a recruiting trip showing um, each other around Kevin Durant and DeAndre Jordan at Texas University. And ever since then, they became good friends. Even up until when Kevin Durant was going to make the decision as far as should he leave the Thunder or join the Warriors, the Clippers was in play. And the, at the time, DeAndre Jordan was on the Clippers. So DeAndre Jordan was recruiting Kevin Durant to the Clippers. But, you know, Kevin Durant said, you know, even though he didn't decide to join the L.A. Clippers, it was good to know that he had a great friend and somebody he could trust in DeAndre Jordan so, you know, he could talk to him. And he, he gravitates towards relationships like that. As a matter of fact, I have the exact quote right here. And this is what Kevin Durant had to say about him and his relationship with DeAndre Jordan. And I quote, Kevin Durant says, more than anything, he was a real friend. Durant said, he wanted me to come to the Clippers but he's going to be my friend no matter what. I gravitated toward being around that, wanting to be around genuine friendships, no matter what, who you play for, what you do, and what decisions you make. So from that quote right there, you can see Kevin Durant really enjoys being around his friends and people he can trust. That goes to show that, uh, he actually has another friend in the Knicks organization, which is Royal Ivy. If you don't know who Royal Ivy is, Royal Ivy is actually Royal Ivy is actually um, a Knicks assistant coach. And Royal Ivy and Kevin Durant go back to once again Texas University days. As a matter of fact, Royal Ivy and 
Roy Ivy and Kevin Durant are so close that Kevin Durant is actually Royals Ivy's child's godfather. That's right. Kevin Durant is the godfather of Royal Ivy's child. Think about that one. And more ties to the New York Knicks organization, we could go as far as talking about Scott Perry. Let's not forget about Scott Perry. Scott Perry is now the GM of the New York Knicks. Guess where Scott Perry was at as the assistant GM? He was the assistant GM of the Seattle Supersonics when the Sonics drafted Kevin Durant. That is right. So you know Kevin Durant is very familiar with Scott Perry and, then, and what he brings to the table. Let's get into the Quinn Cook, Cook person play that I was talking about earlier. Quinn Cook, as I told you, um, grew up with Kevin Durant. They play on an AAU basketball team together. And uh, he's friends. He's very good friends with him. They like best friends also. So um, Quinn Cook is a free agent in 2019. And the Knicks could basically give Quinn Cook a minimum deal. They don't have to give him a lot of money just to sign him to have uh, make Kevin Durant happy. Now think about this here. I understand that the Warriors is a great team and that um, they're a good organization, but this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for Kevin Durant to come to the Mecca, the Big Apple, and sign with the New York Knicks and build a team full of his own friends, people that he trusts in the organization that would never talk about him behind his back. It's basically like Kevin Durant is building his own AAU team. You know how it is in AAU basketball when your team is full of your friends and you just enjoy beating around each other. You hang out with each other on and off the court and it's just a good vibe, you know what I'm saying? So why would he want to pass that up? Kevin Durant is always on file saying that he enjoys beating around friends and, and learning the game of basketball and being around people he can trust. So it's basically like Kevin Durant could basically build his own banana boat crew on the New York Knicks. Think about it. LeBron James has his, his banana boat crew. It's LeBron James. Then you got Chris Paul. Then you have Dwayne Wade and Carmelo Anthony. They all would love to play with each other, but they never got the opportunity to due to different financial situations or them not being available at the same time. But Kevin Durant has the chance to have to play with his own banana boat crew. I just named people that he trusts and that is good friends with him that can all be on the New York Knicks together with him. One, you have Kyrie Irving who could sign with him, which is a real good friend of his. Two, you have DeAndre Jordan, which is another best friend of his, which is he's on the Knicks roster right now. But I understand DeAndre Jordan is a free agent, but he could sign for cheap just to play and recruit Kevin Durant to the New York Knicks. You have Alonzo Trier, who's on foul saying that Kevin Durant is like a big brother to him and he's very good friends. You have Lance Thomas, who Kevin Durant said is one of his favorite players in the NBA. You have Roy Ivey, Roy Ivey, who Kevin Durant is the godfather of his child. You have Scott Perry, Scott Perry, who drafted Kevin Durant to the Seattle Supersonics when they was with the Sonics. The Knicks could also sign Quinn Cook who also is a very good friend and a childhood friend of Kevin Durant. Now, how about this? Let's get more into it. Rich Kyman, Kevin Durant's agent and business partner. Guess what? Rich Kyman is a big, big fan of the New York Knicks. He's even on file as saying that one day he would love to run the New York Knicks. You don't think that Rich Kyman is going to lean towards telling Kevin Durant why being his business partner, why he should sign with the Knicks, knowing that, you know, for his business wise and, and Kevin Durant's brand, he could build it up for the ground up and he will be the face of the franchise in the Big Apple, you know, the Mecca of basketball. Not only that, you know, business wise, commercials wise, he would get more endorsements and everything being with the New York Knicks. And I bet you never knew this. Also, Wayne Pratt. Remember that name, Wayne Pratt. That is Kevin Durant's father. Yes, Kevin Durant grew up in Washington, D.C., and he's a D.C. native. But for some reason, Wayne Pratt, Kevin Durant's father, is a big-time New York Knicks fan. That's right. So when it comes down to the people that Kevin Durant trusts the most 
and he's close to the most and it's time to make a decision about who he should join this summer, just keep in mind that most of the people that he's going to talk to have a connection with the New York Knicks. And that's my top reasons on why Kevin Durant will join the New York Knicks. So if you like what you see here, feel free to comment below. Yes, that's right. Comment below. Like and subscribe to my subscribe to my channel, Knicks at Night TV. You can see me on Knicks at Night TV Instagram.com or you can see me at Knicks at Night TV YouTube.com. Please, 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 please,